I'm making this video to try and show you these hexagons off better, but I'm not sure that they're going to... I did this Porsche yesterday, if you remember, about the lace hexagons that are in, that have joined two sections together of this cloth. Um, that's one section, and that was another section. These were quite small, and you can see them. They're here. Okay, so that's... Yeah, they're showing up okay. So that's how delicate they are in there, in that spacing. And when you see it in the flesh, I mean, I can see them. I look at them all the time. They're really very delicate and very pretty. You can see them going off the end, hopefully. Over here, this is like the end of it. And then if I turn it over, you'll see them at the back. They're more visible from the back. I could take a picture of that, actually. Um, that's, you know, where I stitched them on and then took the cards out of the back. So, and then I added a third section that I was talking about yesterday um, with a piece of lace. So this section here, the two that were joined by the hexagons, were then joined to a third longer strip here, this long strip here, with a piece of lace, kind of a seam with lace coming out of it. So that's how it's... That's how it's evolved and I've got a bigger piece as well that I need to uh, stretch and add to this. I don't know, I might cut the bigger piece up though and add it in two smaller pieces because I'm going to go out a little bit. I quite like to keep them small um, for some reason. A big piece might overwhelm it but if I join a few small pieces with lace then it'll be cohesive and it'll re probably retain that delicacy. So the hexagons are here, that's where they are. Hope you can see them clearly. So that's that really. It was just to clarify the pictures from yesterday. So I'll try and hold it up and maybe the light will shine through. No, because I can't get it at the right angle. All you can see is my knee. Um, yeah, I really hope you get a sense of that anyway. Because otherwise, this video was a waste of time. So there they are. Maybe you can see them there. Can you see them? I'm going to watch this back and see. But anyway, it just gives you a sense of the delicacy of this piece anyway, just having it like this and holding it in front of the camera. I think so anyway, if I move it there, then you can see that, you can see the mirrors kind of catching the light. Okay, this piece is going to be so lovely and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but you know, it's going to be for me, I'm not going to part with it for anything. I'll probably put it in my bedroom, drape it on my bed or something, because you know, it'll be, it's going to be really fragile. And a couple of you have left comments and emails on how I could back it, and I like a couple of the suggestions I've had on there, so I'm going to, you know, reread those and get a sense of what I maybe need to be thinking about ordering to put the back on this. Okay.